good afternoon everyone and welcome back to a new vlog. Today is Monday 21st of December, we were meant to be away in the Cotswolds this weekend which I was so excited to vlog because um, we were staying in some snazzy hotels for our one year wedding anniversary that got uh, cancelled in November so we changed it to this weekend but now of course we are in tier 4 in Surrey um, and everything has changed, um, all Christmas plans have been cancelled and yes things are feeling a little bit gloomy around here but I thought I would vlog anyway because we are taking the opportunity today and tomorrow to do some painting, some decorating. Sam has today and tomorrow off because obviously we're meant to be away so we feel really tired, we actually went on a really long walk yesterday, it's nice weather um, so I'm kind of just want to lie on the sofa and watch films but we feel a bit like we should probably be productive because it's the last room we want to do, like the dining room and the kitchen um, so I will show you in there um, and I'll just kind of catch up with you in this vlog, like show you a couple of things around the house. Then I think we'll also do like a Christmas Eve, Christmas Day vlog. So I'll make that nice and festive. But yeah, for now we're just going to do a bit of a home vlog. Well, both vlogs are going to be a home vlog. Um, our Christmas tree is sparkling. I'll show you some new decorations that my mum sent me actually in a little bit. Oh, it's a bit bright in here. Hi. How are you? I'm fine. Okay positive wise, aren't you? I'm always feeling okay positive wise. <laughs> Sam always makes the best out of everything. Um, this morning we've actually been doing a new puzzle. We each opened a present yesterday, two days ago. And I got Sam a Christmas puzzle because we love some organised fun, don't we? We do. We did quite a lot of puzzles in the first lockdown, didn't we? We did, yeah. A lot of our vlogs contain them. So we've got this Christmas puzzle here which we started on this morning, which is exciting. Um, our walking boots are drying, our stockings are hanging, and we are gonna decorate in here, which is this kind of murky brown color that you would have seen everywhere in the house, and we just wanna brighten it up a bit. Right, I've turned the lights off now, so you can see it in natural light, but I think we're gonna go for this one, which is like quite a neutral, almost like a cream, slightly warmer toned cream, whereas we thought this was a bit too white. Um, and it's L Decoration by Crown, Delicate Touch. Navy wall in the lounge and our bedroom is this same brand. And um, we just love the quality of the paint, don't we? Yeah, it's nice. So, yeah, I think we're gonna go for this. I think so, yeah. yeah. I, I'm not 100% sure, but I think, as in we're gonna go for it, but I'm not, I know, I really like I'm it. I'm sure it will be nice. Sam quite likes I the can't... green for the kitchen, but we think it's yeah. gonna be a bit strange having two different, because we put some swatches there, don't we? We think it might be a little bit strange having Having two colours in here, we're not really sure. I like your gilet as well, that's oh, quite new, isn't it? It's new, thank Don't you. Don't think the vlog's seen that. Love it, Patagonia, like treat yourself Patagonia on. Stuff, yeah. I know, it's really nice. Um, we're gonna pop out, we're gonna go to home base, get the paint, we're gonna go to M&S and try and get some party food for Christmas Eve if it's not too busy. What else are we doing? Then we need to get started painting, it's already yeah, half 12 though. That. Reverse advent calendar. Yeah, my, my mindful chef reverse advent calendar needs to drop that off. And yeah, and throughout the vlog, I'll show you various things and we'll hopefully feel a bit festive and do some DIY. If you haven't already seen, then I did a full bedroom tour in my last video. So go and check that out. I'll link it below um, if you want that update because I won't bore you all again by showing that. <laughs> but it's amazing, isn't it? We're really pleased, yeah. Yeah, we are. Every time we're in there, we're like, oh my God, we love these wardrobes so much. Yes, so I'm feeling a bit down today. I think it's just the, the heaviness of everything that's been happening in the world and the news. Um, but, you know, we're lucky in many ways. So trying to keep positive um, and just enjoy the Christmas tree. These are the new decorations that my mum sent me. How gorgeous is that? I got two of these. And then we also got two of these, like, no flaky ones as well. You excited? Oh, I thought you were doing a thumbnail. <laughs> um, not really. Like, I'm a bit done with painting, to be honest. But we'll get God. it. Done. We'll get it done. We're gonna. We've decided to just like prep everything today. Like, um, wash the walls and do the frog tape and stuff, and then start early on the painting tomorrow. So we should have time to do two coats. I'm about to do a festive fridge tour because we just bought our final few like bits from M&S for Christmas so I thought I would show it because who doesn't love looking in someone's fridge? Okay, so let's start from the top. From the top, make it not. <laughs> Sam is making a coffee. That is very inconvenient, thank you kind sir. Sorry, it's necessary. Um, we did just get this in M&S which is super cute and exciting. I think we're gonna put this in our little study room. 
Um, it's really dull today, hence why I've got the electric light on. And um, we've got some lovely Christmas cards everywhere. This one that my mum got us, I think, is my favourite. It's so cute. Okay, so let's start from the top without any jokes this time. Um, we have got some chutneys and things. We've actually got another festive chutney in the cupboard, which I'm excited to try, and cranberry sauce for the turkey. These, because we're gonna have like a nice steak dinner tomorrow night, because um, it's our 13 year anniversary um, of being together, not of marriage, obviously. Um, and then we've got like some cream and brandy butter for mince pies and fruit. We usually have like blackberries, we've got raspberries and grapes for the cheese board. Um, then we've got some Prosecco, two bottles of Prosecco, some white wine, which we probably won't drink anytime soon, but it's in there. Um, and a cheeky Moet, which we got for our anniversary, but it's like a really good size because I think it's like a glass each, isn't it? So that is perfect for Christmas Eve if we just want a cheeky glass of bubbly. Um, we have this mahoosive smoked salmon, which is like my favorite part about Christmas um, because we have them with blinis usually, um, which you just put in the oven and cream cheese, which you can see at the back there. Um, I always have those on Christmas Eve with my dad usually. So we're gonna do that this year. And then also have smoked salmon bagels in the morning on Christmas day. And then we've got some just roll puff pastry in case I decide to make my own sausage rolls. Um, we've just got some ham that's open and then some cured meats, which always have such a long date. So we can have them whenever, but we'll probably put them out with the cheese on Christmas Eve. It's just the two of us. So we've got an epic amount of food. Um, butter, because we always have butter, and our turkey. Just got a whole turkey, but it's quite small-ish. Um, oh, my fridge is screaming at me. I have never actually cooked a turkey, but I've cooked a roast chicken, so I'm imagining it is not too dissimilar. Anyway, back to the fridge. This is probably my favorite shelf because it contains all the cheese. We bought this amazing looking Borsan Trio. Oh, so good. We've got some cheddar. There's an opened one of these in this Tupperware. Um, some Castello Creamy Blue, which is my favorite blue cheese. Um, and then we got sent some of these by a lovely friend, our wedding photographers actually. So sweet, we got a goat's cheese, which has garlic and parsley, um, a cheddar with pickled onion, amazing, and a whole camembert. Um, so that sounds epic. And then we also got some like Wensleydale uh, with cranberry and some other like festive cheeses. Um, and then we've always got a Parmesan. We've got some Rana pasta at the back for a rainy day. Um, those won't be for Christmas, but they're just good to have and we always get them when they're on special offer. Um, and then at the back, we've got like a festive dip selection, which just sounded really good. Not the orange salsa, because I don't like orange, but the other ones sound amazing. So it'd be nice to have with crisps and things. And then we've got Lots of olives because we are obsessed. And then we picked up these really cute cranberry and uh, pork pies, uh, probably for Christmas Eve. A mashed potato, which we'll probably have in two nights time with some fish, because it's just so easy and delicious. And creamed spinach from M&S for our steak dinner. Fun meat shelf. I've asked Sam to take over because I was thinking it might be really boring the way I was doing it. Um, the next shelf. We've got all our like pigs and blankets, our Christmas day dinner, and also like massive ones. I think we might have some of these on Christmas Eve maybe. Um, and these are the ones that I bought in case I wanna make sausage rolls. I thought they were so cute. They've got apple in them. And then we've got our stuffing, which is pork, apple, and cranberry. Doesn't that sound good? Mm. And Christmas Eve party food, which I think is the best part. We treated ourselves to M&S and we got some delicious meaty mini pies, which I think are like chicken and steak. Um, chicken donut dippers, which just sound amazing. Some brie and cranberry tartlets, because is it Christmas Eve without those? And some crispy dark spring rolls. Um, we're gonna do like a cheese board and everything, the smoked salmon. We might not obviously cook all of these, um, but we've got a long time, like a few days afterwards and New Year's and stuff to eat all and put it in the freezer, so that's fine. Um, and then we've got some chicken, which we're gonna do tonight, steak, which we're doing tomorrow, and some bacon. And then I guess the slightly healthier bits, um, this is always like our kind of salad -y drawer. We've got spinach and tomatoes. We also keep like avocados, lemons and limes. Um, and then we've also got some Brussels sprouts with gammon for Christmas day. And we've got some parsnips for Sam because I really hate parsnips, but we thought we'd get those. And then in the bottom drawer is like all our kind of veg veg. Veg veg. <laughs> it's 
veg veg, yeah. So we've got spring greens, which we really love and we'll probably have on Christmas Day. Red cabbage, which we're going to do something with for our Christmas dinner as well. Carrots, which we'll also roast. And then we've just got some broccoli and some kale for general consumption. So that is the main bulk of the fridge stuff. We have like some sauces and beers and milks and eggs and some chocolatey and butter up there. Oh, screaming at me again. And then in here, we have all the other fun stuff, like our biscuits for the cheese, um, and probably way too many crisps, but how good do these flavors sound? We've got black truffle and olive oil, amazing, and parmesan and prosciutto, which just sounds incredible. And then we've got our absolute all-time favorites. These are probably the best crisps in the world, and just some ready salted and sour cream and chive. We thought they'd be really nice with the dips. And then we've got our Maris Piper potatoes for the roast potatoes, onions. Um, and then we've got our kind of Christmas day Yule log, which looks amazing. It's like a chocolate fudge Yule log. And then like Maltese truffles, Mr. Kipling fancies, and lots of yummy mince pies. So I think we're all set, aren't we? Yes, dear. <laughs> Sam's doing his puzzle. And then we need to frog tape the room. Do we? Yes. We need to frog tape. Yes, we room. need to frog tape the room, exactly. <laughs> These walls well, are going to become. To some more food. Oh. Just had a Wednesday Dell and cranberry oh. pastry. No, I am gonna make a smoothie actually with this banana. <laughs> but before I make a smoothie, I was actually just going to show you our guest bedroom, which is exciting because I have kind of shown it in the last video i think so this is what it looks like when you come in i've got some fairy lights here to try and make it cozy and this is our sofa bed it is like a pink velvet and it is so comfy we are so happy with it it's so comfy both as a bed and a sofa um it is from dreams actually it took forever to deliver and also it was a nightmare to get in this room but we won't dwell on that because we're really happy with it now <laughs> and then so far we just have this unit and loads of sam's tools and things there and um, we're going to get rid of both of these bedside tables um because we no longer need them and we're going to get some sort of like other side table here and this unit is going to go into the study um because we have a big white triple wardrobe coming which is really exciting and that's then where Sam's clothes will all go at the moment he's got all his shirts and things here um and you would have seen our wardrobes upstairs in the previous video and then in this cupboard Sam very amazingly built some shelves I think I vlogged when Sam was about to make this um but I don't think I showed the finished result and it is so so handy he did such a good job are you coming to talk about your amazing work i, I wasn't going to but if you insist <laughs> can you put the light on actually please um do you think i did already show this I don't know. how comfy is that so far i was just talking yeah, about really it this. it's fab isn't it um yeah so he built this amazing like shelving into the cupboard that we already had in here so we've got loads of shoes at the back um, and on each level it goes all the way back. It's so handy because you can put like all your summer stuff at the back um, And then the ones you wear more frequently in front. Obviously we have a little shoe rack downstairs as well, which is handy um, And then we have space for like all these coats and stuff as well and some bedding at the top So I'm very very impressed and you're gonna build another one in the step the cupboard on the stairs Aren't you for to put our yeah, that's just gonna be printer one, on just one shelf. It's not yeah, cupboard. that'll be easier but yeah, I think those are most of the updates, aren't they? With the house. Obviously our amazing bedroom. We have probably shown that way too much, so I probably shouldn't go up there and talk about it again. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow. I'm making a hot chocolate. It's hot. <laughs> <laughs> Good, we did something right. We're gonna add cream. I'm feeling really down. We're just watching Clap Clouds. Is that how you say it? I think so, the yeah. Christmas film, we've not watched it before. It's quite good. We just can't bother to add up today, can we? We might add it later. What time is it? Half three. <laughs> I might have a bath after this film with my new Lush stuff. I haven't shown them yet. So I've got me some lovely Lush bath things for Christmas. As the present that I opened early. And I you opened that. it early, yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, shit. It's a bit hot though. Yeah, it's fine. 
Oh, oh it's coming out! <laughs> 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 fantastic job and I'm watching friends <laughs> well actually I'm doing a puzzle which is going well I'm absolutely smashing this actually if I'm honest what a mood booster My goodness, what a day. This is the first time I'm actually speaking to the camera with my very pretty Christmas tree, which is still alive. <laughs> um, I have a really awful spot on my chin. I don't know if you can see it, but I've like piled on the concealer. Um, so it probably looks a completely different color to the rest of my face. But we have been painting the kitchen slash dining room all day and we have finally finished. Um, we've done the two coats and we're just fit, waiting for it to finish drying before we can take the frog tape off um, and put the blinds back up and everything and I'm so, so happy with it. I don't think Sam is too keen. I am happy. Yeah? Yeah. I love it, it's just what I wanted. It's like a neutral but much lighter and brighter than before um, but it does have kind of like pinky undertones in certain light but yeah, I'm super happy with it. Here he is, the man himself having a cheeky relax in the nice armchair. <laughs> it's been hard work, you know. I think if yeah. we had this room first, it would have put me off painting forever. Yeah. I love it. Anyway, we're going to treat ourselves and open a bottle of Malbec. Did I say? I don't think I've actually said that it's our 13 year anniversary today. Crazy. Can you believe it? And you're still just as tall. <laughs> and I'm still just as short. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. So, yeah, we're going to have some wine, have some steak and chips and what else, cream spinach, um, which would be super nice. I'm going to open this lovely bottle of Malbec that's all Christmassy. That one is from Morrison's. And I've got this delicious cinnamon woodwick candle burning. Um, and we've got some olives and oh my God, these are incredible. If you like truffle fries, you need to get your hands on these. So I'm gonna fill up that bowl so we can eat more of those. Our little stockings are hung up here. Um, I'm gonna put all our Christmas cards back. We just need to get some more like paint off the surface and wait for the tape to come off. Um, and I probably put some clips in already, but look at the amazing job I did on this jigsaw last night. While Sam was, bless him, frog taping the whole room, I cracked on with this a thousand piece puzzle, which is going swimmingly. Um, oh, so happy these walls aren't brown anymore. I don't even know how different they're gonna look on camera. So much more neutral and light and fresh. 
Um, and I got sent these gorgeous flowers today. How amazing are these? They're a Bloom and Wild festive bouquet. They've got a bit of silver in them and beautiful white roses and thistles. Oh, I am literally so happy with these flowers. They are gorgeous. They are from some of Sam's friends, actually. Well, my friends too, but mainly your friends. Both our friends. Yeah, really sweet and a nice surprise for Christmas. Very nice surprise. Yeah. Good timing as well, because you just said this morning, I really want some flowers, I haven't got any now. I know. I <laughs> came with a Bloom and Wild box. It's quite late now, so I'm actually back at work tomorrow. Um, but it just feels nice to have a bit more of a special meal. Um, and then it is Christmas Eve in two days and Sam is off Christmas Eve, the actual evening of Christmas Eve, he's working in the day. <laughs> but he'll be back in the evening for our like Christmas Eve buffet and watch, maybe watch the holidays, we haven't watched that this year. We have watched quite a few Christmas Eve films now, I'm gonna try and remember some. We've watched Claus, or Klaus, sorry, which was really good. We were on our honeymoon last, like in the festive lead up. Um, so we missed all these like Netflix films um, and we're only just watching them for the first time. So we watched Klaus, um, <laughs> what else? You watched Christmas Chronicles 1 and 2? Yeah, 1 is much better than 2. Yeah. Um, what else have we watched? Sorry, I just zoomed in and zoomed out. You said Home Alone. Home Alone, Love Actually, we watched a little while ago. Yep, love Love Actually. Uh, I feel that, like we've watched was it Holiday Christmas, the Holiday Drop? You know, that oh, that was so. No, we didn't watch that recently though. That, that was, was a Christmas film. We watched that just when I got out of hospital. What was it, it, it was not worth it. It was, was no. It. We've watched Holiday, or I watched Holiday, which was okay mm. if you look at something trashy. Oh, what was that one? Oh, Bad Mums at Christmas. I actually really mm. liked that. I didn't know about that one. I really liked that. I really liked Mila Kunis though, and it was really good. Once was enough. Yeah. Um, is that all we've watched? I feel like we've watched loads of. Oh, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles, which That's isn't Thanksgiving, like. Thanksgiving, it's not Christmas. Yeah, but it's, it's festive, and it's like such a classic. And Sam, I made Sam watch it for the first time last night, and you loved it. It wasn't last night, two nights ago, and you it's loved good. it. It's good for what it is. It's is that all we've watched? I literally feel like we've watched loads. Oh, we watched Frozen 2 oh, a little while. The Grinch, <gasps> the Grinch animation. Great. We loved that. Um, I, I've never got on with the normal Grinch. Um, it's still trying to focus on you. But I loved the animation one, which we watched for the, for the first ugh, which we watched for the first time. We watched Frozen 2 quite recently, didn't we? And yeah. so we can't really bother to watch Frozen 1 because we just feel like we've seen it loads. Anything else? We will watch The Holiday. I, I'm gonna watch Home Alone 2 because we only watched the first one. We've watched Gavin and Stacey Christmas Special, which is a classic. Um, we're gonna watch the second one that came out last year. Maybe tonight, actually. Um, we're gonna watch Arthur Christmas at some stage. Yes. That's been recommended. I wanna watch Arthur Christmas. Um, you wanna watch Jingle Jangle, but I'm not very fast. It's recommended. I mean, it looks okay. It looks yeah. Like it's worth a watch. Let me know if that one's good and if I'm missing anything else. Um, I think that's most of them. Other than that, we've just been finishing Shit's Creek, which is amazing, but I'm so sad it's finished. Um, we watched the documentary afterwards, which was really, really good as well. So emotional. It's such a good series. Like, probably my favourite series ever in terms of, like, I like kind of, like, thriller or, like, murder documentaries. But this is my favourite series in terms of, like, funny, light-hearted, feel-good. It doesn't take much. To get to get needles to fall off now. Yeah. There you go. We've got some presents under the tree, but I'll save that for our Christmas vlogs. I think I'm going to vlog Christmas. Um, we've still got stuff in here from the other room. I was saying before, you've got Christmas Eve evening off. You're not working nights or anything, and you're off Christmas Day, Boxing Day, 27th and 28th. Yeah, it's it's good. Yay. It's like a long weekend this year, so that'd be yeah. Because nice. I've made you do DIY on your day off the last two days. Yes, so I can yes. have Christmas off now. Yeah, you can have Christmas off, off. from work. Off from decorating. Yeah. Just like, eat and drink. Yeah, and watch films. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I liked your ring. Is that new? <laughs> yes, you got it for me. Duh. You got it for um, our first year wedding anniversary because it matches my wedding bracelet. Love it. Thank you. Okay. One time. <laughs> food coma. <laughs> we had a very delicious dinner and panna cotta and also some Maltesers, those Maltesers truffles which I'm obsessed with. Um, and we've just been taking some of the frog tape off. We're going to do the rest of it tomorrow. Um, and Sam's put the blinds back up so I will show you that now and then I'm going to end the video. I've been feeling really like low and really down the last, well today and yesterday, like really moody. Um, so I don't know if I've even covered too much in the vlog, but hopefully 
you enjoyed it anyway but yeah I just wanted to say that if you're feeling quite like negative and down at the moment then you are definitely not alone I think it's a kind of nationwide feeling which is why um it feels even harder like because obviously we all have our own shit to deal with don't we um, and then when you have this kind of like doom and gloom that's like just setting the tone as well it just is really hard and obviously although you know we're making the best of it and we'll have a lovely Christmas here together um we are so sad not to be uh seeing family and friends as well so um some of the plans we had of course have been cancelled and everything like I'm sure yours have as well but here's hoping for a better 2021 I'll get this out of the way now because in my kind of Christmas vlog, I probably won't dwell on what we're not doing too much. Um, but yeah, if you are feeling down, then I totally feel you. And yeah, just about picking yourself back up. Also letting yourself push it. Like yesterday, we just, I just couldn't, I just wasn't motivated to do anything. Like we just watched Klaus and had hot chocolate in the middle of the day, which is like really unlike us um, and unlike me. But anyway. This vlog has still been fun and it's definitely helped me feel a bit better. Just sitting. It looks so good. Are you happy with it? I am, yeah. It's dried really nicely actually. I love it. We've still um, got quite a lot of the frog tape on and also we have this in every room where the ceiling paint peels off when we take the frog tape off. So we need to touch up that, touch that up. Um, but I love the colour. I know it probably doesn't look like much on camera. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good view. You can see the Christmas tree. Um, but yeah, I'm sure we will do a proper tour in here at some point, won't we? Once we've got a, hopefully, a big mirror here, I think. And then I think kind of um, prints or photos and stuff on this wall. And maybe a shelf above there. Maybe a print above the drinks cabinet. Not really sure. Don't want to go overboard, but we definitely need to make it a little more homely, I guess. Anyway, I think I'm going to edit the video here. I've just popped you on a candle because my shoulder hurts. What did I say? I think you're going to edit the video here. Oh. Should we end the video here? Yes. I feel happy that we've done something productive, don't you? Yeah, it's been good. We're, Even I mean, though it's been a bit stressful. It's been a long day to paint in the whole room twice, but it's been worth it. It has, yeah, but we have some nice time off. Um, over Christmas and the weekend so we will start a new vlog then to keep the festive spirit up thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to give a thumbs up if you liked it click the subscribe button for lots more content and we will see you in the next one goodbye Bye.